Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to the Minecraft Snapshot Tour. Minecraft 1.9 Development Snapshots. We're today is September 12th, 2015, and we are playing Minecraft 15W37A. So this was last or this week's snapshot, this past week, uh, released on uh, Thursday instead of the usual Wednesday. We played it a little bit last time, and uh Let's get started. Okay, so we're back in our little hidey hole. You can hear all the chickens and stuff outside. And uh, stuff is growing. It's daytime. So let's go. Let's go take a look. Nothing has really changed over here. Uh, one thing that changed over here, after I got done playing, we spent an evening trying to track... Uh, trap a zombie villager um, I built a little enderman safety rail up here because I was getting a few endermen um, I did uh, I, I sucked all the lava out of these pits I have them stored in a chest in buckets back in the hidey hole because the lava might become useful I put this up so that I could stand under here and the enderman can't get at me um and uh, so we I did see one zombie villager. He was in a small pack and there was a creeper with him. Unfortunately, the creeper ended up blowing him up. So I was not able to catch him. However, look at this. I got three eyes of ender. Um, yeah, so uh, I got two more endermen. And they were cooperative. They actually dropped Eyes of Ender. And since I still had some blaze powder, because we had picked up a few blaze rods from oh, here's all that lava. One of the one of the uh, one of the puddles was deeper than I thought. I still have a few blaze rods. I had some blaze powder. And so I went ahead and made Eyes of Ender out of all of it. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a little bit. I'm going to go behind the scenes a little bit. Uh, we're going to do that in the morning. Because I don't want to get started this time. Let's get stocked up. So I've got plenty of torches. I grabbed I grabbed uh, a stack of wood. Because that's always helpful. Did the door closed? Yeah, it closed. Um, and uh, I've got food. So let's go top off on the chicken. On the cooked chicken from the chicken cooker. <coughs> Yeah, um, which is going gangbusters. It's going to fill up. Whoops. And I am going to have to find, I'm going to have to put out other chests out here to store all the cooked chicken and feathers because this is going to just go, go crazy. In fact, you know what? While we're here, let's just spread some of these out like that and grab a couple of these. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Oh. And uh, we're still trying to level up a bit here, but we're fine. Uh, and then I also want some more blocks. 23, that'll work. Uh, so I want to have a full stack of blocks on. Well, <laughs> that was silly. A yeah, full stack would be nice. But we can grab a couple. This will work. So... There we go. And anything else that would be useful? I got food, I've got torches, I got blocks, I've got wood. Everything else. Oh, you know what? Just since since we have it, let's just let's just bring a stack of of cobble as well. Okay. Um nighttime is falling. We can do a little gardening. And, oh, we got a poison potato. I hope they do something with the poison potatoes in the future. I think that would be really cool. Um, I don't know what. Maybe make a poison. Maybe that's how you make a poison potion. I don't know. 
but it would be nice if the poison potatoes actually got some functionality. I think it'd be cool. I have a small collection of them and it would be nice. Okay, so let's go put the rest of this away. Um, see, I have a few poison potatoes here. I like them. I don't throw them away. People do because, of course, they're completely useless within the game. Oh, what did I just... Oh, I just did that. Okay. We don't need that. Oh, we should. This is getting... This isn't too low. It's a little over a third. But I feel like... Um, so this is my... I'm breaking fortune, efficiency, and breaking... Let's try combining these two. See how many levels it's going to cost. Um, I don't have ideal anything here. So we could do a couple things here. So we could take this pick and try to repair it with uh, this efficiency 4 and get an efficiency 5. Fortune 3, I'm breaking 3. So it's going to cost 16. I've got the levels. So that's one option. The other option is to combine these two, which will cost 10. Still only gets me basically the equivalent of this. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. Okay. And we can put this up here. And what am I wearing? Oh, that's right. I didn't have enough levels to enchant the chest plate. But that's okay. I don't think we're going to need it so much. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. Let's go to bed. And we'll get up in the morning. And we're going to go. We're going to go look for the stronghold. Let's see if we can find it. Since so much of the changes in this in the snapshots have been focused on the end, let's go find the end. So this being forest is a little bit tricky, so let's go over here to the desert and uh, see what we can see. So I'm going to show you how I go about doing this. You might think it's cheating. It's okay. I don't mind. Um, I'm just using math. Right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stand up here. And I don't know where the stronghold is. It could be just about, it could be anywhere. And there's three of them, right? So chances are if I, if I choose a random direction, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find one. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm standing on, and I'm looking at the coordinates, the X and Z coordinates, or X and Z, for those of you who are not Americans. So we're looking at 96, 331. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a note of that. 96, 331. That's my starting point here. And then I'm going to throw the Eye of Ender. Where did it go? It went that way. And it would have gone in the lava. Thank you for clearing out that lava. Now... So I'm at 105, 327. 105, 327. Okay. So that suggests that stronghold is, if I went this way, is that direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up this way. We want to go strongly perpendicular. And I'm going to get another vector. So basically, a vector is two points, a line that, that I must have just seen those those mushrooms there. Okay, let's uh let's go up here. Um, a vector is is a is a line that goes between two points um, and has a direction. And so, as you saw from my starting point, hi cows. Uh, from my starting point there, it directed up somewhat that way. So. We want to go, we want to get a very different vector so that we can then sort of calculate the intersection between them, which is a very easy thing to do. Um, and basically by taking two starting points and two, let's see, there's a planes up here if I go far enough, right? Where I have where I found the chickens. Let's go up there. 
Oops, that squeak. Hi, sheep. And by taking the starting point of each, I can calculate a slope. So a direction of each. And, uh, and basically it becomes a little, a little equation to say, starting from this point with the slope, where does it, well, here's my swamp. Let's go over here. Let's go over to the area where I found the chickens. Right? That's right over here. Hello, pigs. Big swamp area. Right? Oh. <clears throat> so it becomes, it's a, it's a simple little bit of algebra. And, oh, nice. Is this a plane? Yes. Good to know. Hi, pig. Ah, oh, thank you. So now, based on what we saw, chances are it's going to be pointing off that way somewhere. So, let us do this. And the blocks become useful in this case. So we'll just go pop this up here. And we'll go up in the air a little bit. Just makes it easier to see things. And we are at minus 11, minus 10. So minus 11, minus 10. Oh, we're close to zero. Interesting. Okay. And let's eat since we're a little hungry. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. So it's probably going to push over that way somewhere. Unless, well, unless, ow, where'd it go? Oh, right here. So, 2 minus 10. 2 minus 10. Now, I may want to get another vector here. Whoops, hey, stop that. I may want to get another vector here because I have found that when the Y or... Z uh, X or Z doesn't change much. Um, it uh, I tend to get screwy results. So since we're um, I'm going to go up this way and we'll get another one, and then I'll show you what I do. And it's not a hundred percent, but it works pretty well. Okay. So it's probably going to point me kind of close to this direction. Um, this direction. Yeah. Let's see. And if we get a, if we get a value that's completely, oops, completely nonsensical, then, um, then we'll, kind of start over so I've got to minus 39 26 minus 39 26 and if we go and throw this guy he's probably gonna go this way hello mr. pig I think you're oh no it's right here okay okay Minus 26, 29. Minus 26, 29. Good. Okay. So here's what we do. I wrote a little program called Intersect. Um, I have it up on GitHub, so it's publicly available. And you can, uh, I'll put a link to it, and you can go download it. It's, it uses Perl, which is a uh, interpreted programming language, which you can download for free for windows but it comes pre-installed on on linux and and macintosh so you can get it uh for pretty much any platform you want so i have this intersect and i basically just feed it all these numbers i just collected and minus three uh minus 11 minus 10 2 minus 10 and it gives me back a number that's uh, 863 uh, minus 10, which seems a little off. Uh, unfortunately, what might happen 
is uh, you can get a situation where um, you're close to one strong closer to one stronghold and from your first position and then you move closer to a different stronghold for the second position and, uh, and that kind of screws everything up so 39 26 minus 26 39 minus 47 minus 10 minus 47 minus uh, come on why are you so slow probably because I've got minecraft running in the background and then uh, and then let's try this one intersect 96 331 105 327 and then um, minus 39 26 minus 26 29 gives me 51150 <laughs> so okay so the fact that these are three wildly different numbers is a little disconcerting however I'm actually pretty close to this one so that's minus 47 minus 10 so let's go check that number out because normally what I do is I, I get three points and then I get numbers between them and uh, and then basically I go and uh, I find I, I get a bunch of points until I find a few that sort of agree a little bit um, sort of I get the minus 47 Oops, wrong way. Right? Minus 47, minus 10. And here it is. So, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to... Let's, let's go digging. Oh, you know what I should have done? Well, I should have made some ladders. But I've, I brought wood so I can make them. Whoops. have done and probably should have done is thrown an eye vendor right there to see if it seemed like this was an appropriate spot and it's amazing I haven't found a cave or anything we're at minus we're at y30 so we're about halfway down whoops and this is the safe way of digging down in case you weren't aware hello iron I may as well collect you while I'm here and we'll just uh, fill you back in so if you stand if you look all the way straight down and you stand basically halfway between two blocks um, you can dig to either side and you're not going to you're not going to fall down and you can kind of see what's below you we're running out of space here okay so they're not quite working I hear lava we're going all the way down people I 
I should be seeing bedrock here at some point. There we go. Bedrock. Okay. So, oh, and it's getting dark. This is dumb. I should have brought a bed too. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go back up. So obviously it's not, not here. I didn't get the right place. So it's not perfect. I was hoping it would work. So, um, Give me a little bit and let me uh let me figure something out here let me figure out a different strategy whoops let me go look up and see where the chicken place was because maybe that's a better place to go looking we're gonna have trouble here so i'm gonna have to head home and I may have to spend the night in the hole here. Unless I can go find those sheep, I can make a bed. Not that I brought shears. Okay, well. Oh, out of blocks. Hey, pig. All right, um, I'm going to kind of head home here. Move. And uh, we've got a little safety hazard here, a little OSHA compliance issue. So I'm going to head home. Um, I'll be back with you uh, in, in a little bit. Hang on a second.